Well, yesterday, um, I went for a ride out and I shot this bit of video. Uh, I know you like me driving videos, so I thought I, I know where to go. It's a road you haven't seen before. And, uh, well, I'd say you haven't seen, you have actually seen it because it's the way we brought the tractors back from Rugby Show, right? Which was, of course, years ago now. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you about education, hence the title of the video. Now, I didn't have a very good uh, primary or secondary education. I really didn't. And the problem is, my father was a blacksmith. We're in a very small village of uh, oh, 140 people, something like that. And uh, there's a decent school at the small market town of Alford, right? A uh, grammar school. Well, what happened was uh, the large landowner, his worker's daughter's passed her 11 plus and I did. But because of the class system in this country, she got the place at grammar school. Right? I didn't get it. So I went to a very poor school. However, and here's where my look changed. Um, I went to, uh, when I finished secondary school, I actually went to Rycotewood, it was called, a college at Tame near Oxford, which was uh, an agricultural engineering college and I've since realised that I got one of the best educations that you can ever have, right? It, does, it covers everything. Uh, machine shop practice which is, you know, lathes, etc, etc, right? Engines, uh, hydraulics, on tractors, uh, every type of machinery, it's a vast, vast subject and it is the best that you can get, right? You have to know farming because if you go out, uh, as I had to do when I was like 18 to start a uh, start means show the owners how to operate a new machine you had to know about farming you know how to farm how to uh, and I've had to do this in, as I say a long 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 time ago but I did actually have to do this in real life right and that was to calibrate a sprayer you know and it was very very good education so the reason for this video is just to tell you that what you see me do today or you see me in the past do is simply through my education now but that's that's the only half of it I was very very lucky by the way at this <laughs> I'm in full send mode right I'm getting on with it on the main road you can probably see this and I'm going to stop it before we get to the boring bit of the video right anyway um, <laughs> I can still do it that's the good news right that is the good news I can still do it despite the age um, anyway, I was very, very lucky 
that a friend mentor, Carl, I've mentioned many times, and this is the point of the video, really. When I was 20, uh, I needed me mini engine doing, right? You've seen the, uh, you've seen the mini. Uh, I might uh, just find a photo and put in this video if I can. just to see. Anyway, he did the engine and I went, then he said, well, come down and see me at night. So I spent his spare time, right, with a very, very clever man that taught me everything I know that you've seen me do over the past few years. So, you know, really, I have to be thankful for that, don't I? Really, genuinely, I have to be thankful for that. Oh, so there we go. Right, I'm going to stop this in a moment when we get back to Langworth. Right. Uh, when we catch the traffic up and it slows up and gets boring, I've got to stop it. So, in the main, I have to say that your education comes from where you are, what the school's like, and the people you know. And I'm sure that all of you will 100% agree with me on this, right? Because without that, we couldn't do anything. Right, uh, we're not quite back at Langworth yet. We nearly are. But I know you like to see, you know, Lincoln Cheer in its finest. I like to see it, and here we are, back at Langworth. So we'll leave it there.